and you keep it up the whole time. That's what you're spiriting with, even if you turn around, okay? And here we go, we're turning around. We're still on defense, it's the second town. We're up back to the crowd, here we go, and horns up. So I decided to become a USF cheerleader. Um, it was always, I've always wanted to come to USF and I actually never thought I'd be able to cheer at USF. Um, it was a last minute decision for me to try out and I tried out and it was just a good environment from the girls and other teammates. And just one of my biggest goals was to cheer at, at a university and cheer in college. <laughs> <laughs> well, I chose USF as my college because it was mainly closer to home, but it had a very good business program. And on top of that, I found out how close all the USF cheerleaders were at the first clinic I went to. So that seemed like a family I wanted to be a part of. I'm leaving here pretty pleased with you um, on the national side. I'm definitely leaving here pleased with you on the game day side. So let's get a good night rest. Let's hydrate come in ready to go for Layton. Don't let tonight be one of those nights that you stay out super late and you're not ready to go. You're gonna regret it. It'll be a long four hours if you do that. I think Sandy is a phenomenal head coach for all girls. She is uh, a great mentor for the girls. She puts a great she puts a great vision out for the university and just kind of holds them to a nice high standard. She wants, takes a lot of pride in what she does and wants the best for these guys, wants the best for the university. I think she is one of my favorite people. I knew I wanted to go to school in Florida, and I've been cheering my whole life. So I was looking at mainly colleges near all-star gyms or colleges with a good program, and I just, I took one look at the campus at USF, and I looked, I was a stalker on the all-girl Instagram page, and I just felt, I was obsessed with it. And I had my sister cheering at the University of Tampa, so it was just kind of like a perfect situation. I'd have my sister near me, and I'd get to like have my own life aside from that with a team that I thought was pretty incredible. So it was honestly a dream come true. Oh, so first, like it's crazy the how great the team is. Like, you know, some of the stuff that I was doing, I was like, wow, like, you know, like that stuff was really hard. And like seeing that they're doing six full ups and I like, just like rewind to the top. Like I constantly look at their social media and I just find it crazy impressive. Um, just like how much the team has progressed even in the short, you know, four years that I haven't been here. Um, and then for me personally here, I mean, it's great to catch up with everyone. I feel like when you're an adult and you start working and even though you, we live in the same area as all of our friends, like I literally live like right down the road from my friends and like we've been talking here for 30 minutes because we never have a chance to catch up just because you know, life just gets, you know, busy and you don't. So it's nice to be here, catch up. I mean, we're talking about everything, right? Like it's like, oh my God, how's life? What? What's the status of this? What's the status of that? Because I literally haven't talked to these people, some of them in two years. 